Today's tip is to get planted. It's estimated that we spend at least 85% of our lives indoors. Now, that stat sounded crazy at first, but when I began to think about it a little bit more, there might be times of the year when that's actually an underestimation. I live in the Northern Hemisphere, and in the middle of winter, it can feel like I'm indoors almost 100% of the time. So, with so much time spent indoors, it seems more important than ever to ensure that our space is optimized for our physical and our mental health. That's where houseplants come in. Adding greenery will improve the look of your space. However, many studies have also shown that indoor plants can help keep you healthier and happier. Here are just a few of the psychological and physical health benefits of getting planted. They can help lower stress and anxiety. A 2015 study found that caring for indoor plants reduced both the mental and physical symptoms of stress in study participants. Interacting with plants helped them suppress sympathetic nervous system activity, the fight or flight response, as well as reduced blood pressure. Secondly, plants improve focus and concentration. Research has shown that people performed better at attention-based tasks when they were surrounded by plants. One study found that incorporating plants into a workspace could help improve productivity by up to 15%. The theory is that when our attention shifts to the plants around us, it provides a micro break from our computer screens and that can help boost our concentration. Plants improve air quality. As we breathe in, we inhale oxygen and we exhale carbon dioxide. During photosynthesis, plants do the opposite. They absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, making plants and people the perfect partners when it comes to gas exchange. When photosynthesis stops at night, most plants switch things up and absorb oxygen and release carbon dioxide. However, a few special plants like orchids and succulents actually take in carbon dioxide and release oxygen at night, making them perfect to have in your bedroom to maximize oxygen while you're sleeping. Plants increase humidity in the air and ease dry skin and respiratory issues. Plants release almost all of the water they take in, increasing the humidity in the air around them. This is good news for those of us living in dry climates. Now, not all plants are best for all locations. Make sure you pick the right plant for the right purpose. For your living room, choose peace lilies and philodendrons. Both are very easy to care for and are known to absorb indoor air pollutants. In your bedroom, choose orchids and succulents. As I mentioned earlier, most plants emit oxygen during the day when they're photosynthesizing, but when the sun goes down, they start to release carbon dioxide. Orchids and succulents do the reverse and give out oxygen at night, which makes them perfect in your bedroom. For your bathroom, choose air plants and ferns. Bathrooms need plants that love moisture and heat and can cope with low light conditions. Air plants are virtually impossible to kill. They don't need soil and they can get most of the water they need from the air in a moist environment. Boston ferns are a classic bathroom plant and they thrive in the filtered light and moist air. For kitchens, choose aloe vera. Aloe vera has the dual benefits of being a healing plant and one that is almost impossible to kill. Rub the gel-filled interior of the leaves on scrapes and burns for an instant cooling effect. For your office, choose Gerber daisies, spider plants, and dragon trees. Gerber daisies will add a splash of color to your office as well as help to remove toxins from the air, particularly those associated with ink. They do require a little bit of attention, so if you don't identify as a green thumb, spider plants and dragon trees are hard to kill grow well in low light conditions. If you watch my podcast on YouTube, you'll notice a dragon tree at my side. If you choose to add a dragon tree to your home, just make sure to keep it up 
and away from animals as it's toxic to dogs and cats. Now, on that note, even though there are many benefits to filling your home with greenery, it's important to be aware that some plants can be toxic. This might not be a problem in homes with only adults and older children. However, before you bring a new plant home where there's kids or pets, check a reliable source to be sure that it's safe. You can check with your local poison control office for a list of toxic plants in your region. Bringing plants into your indoor space is like bringing nature inside, along with all its many health boosting benefits. Sharing your space with living, breathing plant life can make your environment a happier place to be and will improve your health and your well being. Willpower not required. Thanks so much for listening. I'd love to hear from you, so send me your tips, questions, or feedback. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram at Fired Up Fitness Coaching or email me at Willpower Not Required at fireduppitness.ca. Thanks so much. I look forward to connecting with you.